this campaign was started in 2010 from one of my bitter experiences which I had to go through. I was doing my business, you know, and uh, one, one hartal day I had to go to the bank to pay uh, a, a deposit in amount. So when I reached there, uh, they told me they are closed. I said my check is holding so because you know those days actually you get a period, a time period. You know you have to pay, you can pay the amount, deposit the uh, cash till twelve o'clock to clear of a check. So they said uh, we are closed. Some people came and asked us to close. I said, see, you cannot close like that because. Uh, just because some goon, uh, goons came and asked you to close, you know, this is a public institution. So I asked them, where is the police? You call the police and take the protection and you have to take my amount. Then they said, no, uh, they cannot do it. They have closed the system. So what I did is I finally sat in, uh, in the center of the hall there. And I said, either take my money or I'm going to sit here. So if, I don't, if you don't take my money, then I'm not going to out. Then finally they had to uh, take my money. But then after that I thought, see, it is not my problem alone. There are many people suffering from this. So I decided to take this fight a little forward. So I launched this campaign, Say No to Hartal campaign. I'm myself, I'm a politician for the last 24 years. But my fight against Hartal was against my party also. Actually, there was no bias about that. So uh, there were uh, resistance from the political parties in the last five years. First, they laughed at us, saying that, you know, this guy is mad. You are talking about, even my father used to tell me, hey, this guy has some problem because he has gone nuts. He is, he is out to uh, eliminate hartals in Kerala, which is a dream. So first they ridiculed us. Then after that, uh, uh, they started fighting against us. So finally, uh, we won. After, after five years, we had asked for a hartal regulation bill, now which is almost happening. Uh, so uh, maybe uh, in the next uh, assembly session, the government will be bringing out a bill. But what we have done now is that we have we have brought in another bill, a citizens' bill, uh, which uh, uh, which covers almost uh, all aspects of a hartal. Hartal in the sense we are not against hartal per se, but the forceful implementation of hartal. That's what we are opposed to. So uh, our uh, uh, intention is to bring a, a, a bill, which is a very strong bill against the government bill so that you know there can be a debate between the two bills and the best can come out of it. So in a way, we are helping the government to come out with a, a bill which can address all the issues about Hartha. When it started, started the people were uh, not actually, uh, I coined this idea and after that there were very few, almost five friends uh, who stood by me and they said, we are ready to fight with us. So uh, it was a very... Uh, uh, what you said is a very risky fight because uh, what we did is uh, what exactly they said not to do. We took out our cars, we got, into, got onto the roads and we started helping people who are there on the roads without uh, a, a car, a, you know, a transport. So we went to the south railway stations, north railway stations, Arnalan stations and general uh, hospital. From there we found so many people uh, there uh, starting, uh, waiting from 6 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, who does not have any other options to go to their house. So what we did is we provided a parallel service system for them. And that required a lot of money, but actually uh, there were many people who came with us, you know, in this, in this last five years, who spent from their pocket alone. We have not taken any contributions so far, except for one or two people, uh, contributions when we had a debate on Hartal alternative. It was an expensive affair, but actually uh, the, the, these people who came forward were, re were ready to spend money from their pocket for diesel and all those things. So we didn't take any money from this people because you know, we are not supposed to. So we uh, provided a parallel system for them. Actually, that was a creative form of protest which we had. Because when we started this campaign, we discussed on how to take this campaign forward. Because uh, 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 there were many other organizations which used to hold dharnas and protest against hartals. But that was not somehow not working. So we discussed and we thought that, you know, there is a fear factor on, uh, which is being, uh, uh, which is keeping the people out of uh, roads, you know. The, the political parties are creating a fear in the minds of the people. And that is the success of hartal. So we decided that we have to nail them right there. So what we did is, see, we, we said, uh, some said, okay, we'll take bikes and uh, help people. I said, so, see, bikes are already running. So that's not an issue. So what we should do is we should challenge them and we should do exactly what they are asking us not to do. So we decided to go with a car. So people asked, uh, uh, then what happens if someone throws the stone? I said, 
if someone throws a stone and your uh, windshield gets damaged, then we will pay for it. So that's how many people came forward. There was uh, uh, once a death threat against me when uh, in, uh, in last year when there was a Hartal day, uh, there were almost four or five phone calls which came saying that I will be killed the next day. So I should stay away from the campaign. I said, no, nothing doing, we are going to hold the campaign. And that day, police commissioner came and said, we will provide you security inside the car. So I said, no. Uh, I said, see, if one policeman sits inside that car to give us security, then the whole idea of this campaign is defeated. We are to uh, eliminate this fear factor from the people. So we wanted to push, rub it on their face, actually, to be very honest. So that is how uh, we took this for campaign forward.